हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मेटिंग प्रोसेस एंड द फर्टिलाइजेशन सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज मेटिंग एक्चुअली एक्चुअली द सेक्सुअल अराउजल इन मेल रिजल्ट्स इन द इरेक्शन दैट इज द पेनस बिकम्स फर्म एंड इरेक्ट as a result of blood flowing into the erectile tissue actually what happens when there is a acute stimulation of the sex after watching the porn video and uh, actually seeing the females breast region and the other uh, parts so there is arousal in male as as well as the arousal of females the arousal in the male stimulates the lining of the vagina to produce the mucus and what is the purpose of this mucus is the purpose of this mucus is actually to lubricate the vagina and make it easy for the erect penis to enter and when there is uh, uh, entry of the penis into the vagina and uh, this is called actually the mating or the copulation and also known as the more often called as intercourse in the act of copulation the male inserts the penis into the female's vagina the sensory stimulus or sensation that this produces called the reflex and due to this reflex the semen uh, uh, non spontaneously enters in the female genital tract so in the male which results in the ejaculation of semen into the top of the vagina so the uh, previous paragraph is very simple description of the biological event in humans however the sex act has intense psychological and the emotional importance because the sex actually happens on the two bases the one is with the physical or the long lasting relationship and the other is a sexual need so most people feel a strong sexual drive which has little to do with the need to reproduce and the one is actually the need to reproduce to uh, recontinue the generation and sometimes the sex act is simply the meeting of an urgent physical need sometimes it is experienced that both the man and the woman enjoy together when there is a, a accent or the uh, the with the help of the acceptance of the both two people and they will feel happy at its highest level it is both of these and is also an ex- expression of deeply felt affection within a long lasting relationship so this is all about the mating and the copulation or the ejaculation or the intercourse all these words are given to this specific name and the semen is ejected ejaculated into the female vagina spont- non spontaneously or we can say involuntarily with the help of reflex which is called as the sex reflex so the next is the fertilization actually what is fertilization when human sperm fertilize with the uh, female's egg or ovum this is called as a fertilization the sperm swim through the cervix and into the uterus by the wriggling movement of their tails as i will show you the uh, video or the animation in which the wriggling movement you can see the wriggling movement they pass through the uterus and enter into the oviduct but the method by which they do this is not known for certain reasons and uh, at this level we don't need and we, we will need if you will become the mbbs student or the uh, as a medical doctor if there is an ovum in the oviduct one of the sperm may bump into it and stick to its surface actually here we have the lot of surface that is a corona radiata around the ovum one is a layer that is a very uh long distance surface this is called the corona radiata after that there is a zona pellucida and after that there is a cell membrane of the egg so uh, first of all there are two types of reaction one is the capacitation that are the changes in the sperm shape that actually occurs and speed up the sperms and the other one is the acrosomal reaction
actually what is the acrosomal reaction acrosomal reaction is the uh, reaction or the we can see the plasma proteins which are removed from the acrosomal part of the sperm as we will see in the next part of video so uh, the acrosome at the head of the sperm secretes enzyme which digest the part of egg membrane the sperm then enters the cytoplasm of the ovum and the male nucleus of the sperm fuses with the female nucleus and this is the moment of fertilization actually although a single ejaculation may contain over 300 million sperms only a few hundred will reach the oviduct and only the one will be the uh, it will be the good luck for one only sperm to fertilize the ovum so here we can see a bundle or the bunch or the millions of the sperm and the here this is a structure that is called as zona zona pellucida that is the structure you can see here and uh, this is the structure you can see this is the actually and and here we have this is the structure uh, which is the this structure is known as the corona radiator so here we will go the next part of the video in which we will see the animation have a look it on it these are the sperms which are actually the entering in the uterus and here the most of the sperms die in the uterus and few in the oviduct and few only the one fertilized with the egg the fertilization of the male or the female nucleus ovum nucleus and egg nucleus and these form to recontinue or to rehabilitate the number of chromosomes which are 46 for the case of human embryo or human zygote so what is the life of the ovum or the life of the sperm in the female genital tract so if the ovum is released after 24 hours it will be digested itself and will be the absorbed and scattered and will be useless and when the sperm enter into the female genital tract it is remaining here for 2 to 3 days or 48 to 72 hours so uh, only for a certain period or the ovulation period that is uh, the mid of the menstrual cycle that is about the 14th day or we can say 12 to uh, we can precisely say 12 to 14 days uh, in between almost almost in between the menstrual cycle these are the period which are highly fertile if the woman will become I mean, she wants to be a pregnant woman uh, and uh, she wants to uh, have a contraception or we can say he wants to implant and uh, uh, in these days the conception will occur there are more chances to be conceived so the release ovum is thought to survive for about 24 hours the sperm might be able to fertilize an ovum for about two to three days so there is only a short period of about four days each month when fertilization might occur if this is fertile period can be estimated accurately it can be used either to achieve or to avoid the fertilization or the conception the fertilized egg has 23 chromosomes from the mother and 23 from the father bringing its chromosome number to 46 so the same as the human body cell or diploid cell this is called as the zygote and it is the one cell that is called as a zygote and after the many cleavages and it is called as embryo and after the two months this embryo is called as the fetus thank you very much please subscribe my channel and uh, press the bell icon for the further notification for the best lectures ever you had for igsc or the o levels biology thank you